Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet again another FIFA 17 pack opening. Today I am bringing you guys a bit of a different pack opening. I'm actually going to be opening up untradeable packs. And these are going to be some at ones to watch cards. So ideally in this video I want to get myself poor Pogba. That's the main reason I'm doing this. But other than that, there are some other very good ones to watch players that I'd like to have inside of my club. Like I mentioned, they are untradeable, but still some incredible cards you can get from opening up these packs, which are cards that I wouldn't be selling anyway, in all honesty. So I just want to put them straight into my team. Another great example of that being Kante. But anyway, guys, if you do enjoy this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash the like button. 2,000 likes would be amazing. You guys have really been enjoying the videos recently. So again, the best way to show your support for the channel is by dropping a like on this video and subscribing if you are new. Additionally, if you guys want to get yourself some free Microsoft points or PSN codes, as always, I'll put a link to at Bounty in the description. When you use the code Penguin over there, start you off some bonus points. Okay, so we're going to be opening up the very first pack here. I'm not going to show you guys every single pack. I'm just going to show you the main ones because I'm sure we'll get a bunch of duplicates. In this very first one, we get Leroy Sane. I actually really like Sane on FIFA, but unfortunately, these cards do cost you 50,000 coins, and I believe... He's probably going to be around that price anyway on his tradable version. So we'll actually recycle this card for the next ones to watch pack. Okay, so pack number two. Let's see what we're going to get in this one. Who is this going to be? Oh, Embolo. Do you know what? Embolo would definitely be one that I'd like to keep. However, he's out with an injury for the entire season, I believe. He is normally a striker card. However, his inform was actually at right midfield. And as you can see, that's why his ones to watch card is also a right midfielder. And Bolo actually looks like he has a sick card, but like I mentioned, he probably won't be getting another one on this FIFA. Alright, so it's not a walkout again, but let's see who this one is going to be. Right, we get Marata. I knew that was going to be Marata as soon as I saw the Spanish, but um, 82 rated. Again, not one of the cards that we are looking for realistically. I mean, he looks like a decent striker on the game, but... I don't think he's even really going to be in with a shout of getting an upgrade on this FIFA again. So, we'll go ahead and recycle that card. Please, man. Something good. Not a walkout again. Who the... Oh, Gaetan? I, I didn't even think about Gaetan. 85 rated. Hmm. This is a tricky one. I go check his price and see what he is worth. Right, so it turns out the one to watch Gaetan is actually only worth 50k. So, again, I'm going to recycle this card, even though it is 85 rated, and hopefully get ourselves the Pogba or Kante that we are looking for. Just to let you guys know, these packs are taking much longer than I expected. So, I'm having massive breaks in between recording each one of these, of course. We get a Zenit St. Petersburg player. Honestly, didn't even realise he was a ones to watch. He's actually got an inform, though, so 83 rated attack midfielder. And that card looks incredible, but... Like I've mentioned, we're only really going after a select few here. So far, I believe I've spent around close to 100k now on opening up these packs. I've done about 8 of them or something like that. It feels like I've done 50. They take that long to complete, but hopefully it's going to be worth it in the end. Please, come on, man. Be something new at least. What's this one going to be? Oh, Krachayak. I forgot about him as well. Right, okay, so... I've had a couple of packs which I'm probably not going to put into the video because they've been duplicates, but I've had a Leroy Sane again, and uh, Krachayak is now, of course, a new player, so I suppose I'm probably going to put this into the video. 84 rated defence midfielder. Hasn't exactly been setting the world on fire at PSG. Um, he's got a great card, but probably just going to recycle him as well. Please give me something good. I pray to you, Lord. Oh, wait! Dembele. Yes, Dembele. This is one that I want. He is apparently a very good card. Worth around 120k. I've been checking the price of the cards as well. 84 rated, the right midfield. Apparently he is an insane card to use in game. And also doing very well at Dortmund. It does look incredible to be honest at right midfield. 88 pace, 88 dribbling, 82 shooting. So I guess we've got our first player that we're going to be keeping in this video. Right, so of course, after getting Dembele, I've had to go out and buy a completely new one to watch card for this squad builder challenge. And we're going to get Milik, is that? Yeah. Again, I didn't even realise Milik was a summer one to watch, to be honest. 83 rated, but every time you get a card that you want to keep, um, like I've mentioned about the recycling, you are obviously unable to do that. So you have to go out and buy another ones to watch card. They're all selling for around 50k at the moment, so 
unfortunately took a bit of a hit on the coins there, but he managed to get the Dembele in return for it. In this pack, which is actually the one after getting the Dembele, we get a fresh player again, Milik. We haven't had him so far, but unfortunately, don't want him. Uh, it's been a while, guys. I've done a couple of these intros so far. Wait, Pjanic. Pjanic. That is one again that I completely forgot about, but 86 rated. And as you can see by the dynamic image, he's actually had an inform already. Pjanic, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep that card, 100%. 8 passing, 88, sorry, 88 passing, 80 shooting, and 87 dribbling. I don't use the Italian League very often in FIFA, but I suppose if I were to in the future, that would definitely be a card I'd want to put into my club. And considering it, it kind of feels bad to use that as a recyclable card, being 86 rated, Again, I'm going to check his price actually and see what he's going for. Okay, so Pjanic is one to watch card. It's going for around 120k at the moment. Like I said, I definitely will use that card if I decide to go over an Italian league. So I'm going to keep it. John Stones. Again. Wow. How many? Have, I've opened up like 20 of these packs. 20 of these packs I've done. And that's the first time we've seen John Stones. 78 rated. I don't think he's really going to get an inform this season. He's doing okay at Manchester City, but I'm not going to keep a hold of him. Wow, we've actually done so many packs, and this is the first time I've got John Stones. That's kind of shocking to me, but recently, guys, we've just been getting the likes of Milik again. Um, we also had a Pjanic as well, ironically, and also like Leroy Sane. It's just players we've already had, but John Stones is actually a fresh face to see, I suppose, in these packs, but... Not one of the fresh faces that we want. Right, so down to 250,000 coins. Probably going to put this one in just to explain to you guys. Um, going to be stopping up soon. Bye, Eric Bai. I completely forgot about him. Right, in the Premier League squad that I use, he is actually one of the centre-backs with Chris Smalling. So, 100% going to keep that card. Um, but like I've mentioned, that means I have to go out and buy another one to watch. I think I started with like 700k. And so far, Bai and... Who did we get? Pjanic? I think Bailly and Pjanic are the only two that I've kept so far. Oh, and Dembele. It's literally, I've been sitting here opening these packs up for hours. To be fair, they are quite enjoyable, but I think I'm only, I think I'm going to go down to like 100,000 coins, to be honest, because we've spent quite a lot so far. I was hoping to have it as a good investment, basically, and I really wanted to get Pogba or Kante, but I'm not too sure if we're actually going to be able to do that. Right, so guys, 124,000 coins. Probably do one more pack after this. Still not a walkout, but it is Kante. Oh my god. Finally, we got Kante. You don't realise how relieved I am right now? I should probably be more hyped than this, but if anything, it's kind of relief that I finally got him. These packs cost around 10k to do. Um, probably more like 15,000 coins, actually. But literally, I was going to do one more pack after this and call it quits. But we've got Kante now. It's not Pogba, but Kante is like 500k. Find it, like, this has made it all worth, in my opinion. I've been sitting here now for probably like three hours, but I've been watching streamers and stuff like that whilst I, I'm doing these packs. So it's not being hard work. It's kind of enjoyable, actually. But a lot of the returns we've been getting have been poor. Like, we've had so many duplicates. And finally, we get ourselves N'Golo Kante. I am very happy with that. Like like I said, I am more relieved than hyped right now. But trust me, I am incredibly happy that we just got N'Golo Kante. Right, but anyway guys, I will actually end it here. Kante being our final player. Um, also in this video, I am going to include some Elite 1 rewards. I've probably got them playing in the background right now. Unfortunately, I did have a face cam and reactions and all that to these packs. But somehow with all the recording that I've been doing, because literally... I've recorded so many of these packs, so I've been clearing up all the files and I must have deleted them. So I don't actually have the reactions available. But hopefully you guys do enjoy the packs that are playing in the background right now. So of course these are not actually my Elite 1 rewards that are playing in the background right now. Like I mentioned, I did open them, but unfortunately I've lost the face cam and reactions. Um, this is actually thanks to Matty Stolberg, so thank you very much for allowing me to open up your Elite 1 rewards. I really do appreciate it, but... As for this video, it does bring us to the end. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. Bit of a cool outro, actually, having Elite One Rewards playing in the background. Better than just seeing my mug saying thanks for watching the video. But uh, basically, I do appreciate it, guys. And if you do enjoy this video, best way of showing your appreciation is by smashing the like button. 2,000 likes would be greatly appreciated. 
course do subscribe if you are new around here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully I'll see you next time.